In this video, we are going to show you how to change the call to action button on your Facebook page. This is important if you're in a business that relies on receiving messages, taking orders and engaging with your potential customers and current customers effectively. Now, just before we get started, don't forget to smash that like button down below and consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. And with that said, let's get straight into it. So here we are on the business page um, for Stuart McAdam Marketing. And as you can see here, the call to action button is send message. Now, if you want to change that, the first thing you have to click on is this little drop down button here next to the three dots. And that allows you to interact as your business page. We're going to click on that and we're going to let it take us through to the uh, business admin viewing access and this now allows us to edit the call to action button where you can see edit send message click on that it might be something else and you just have to click on that it'll bring you three drop down buttons up and we are going to select edit button now depending on your business needs and your company needs there are a wide range of options available for you to choose from when choosing a new call to action. You could have um, start order, a book now, call now, contact us, send message, sign up, shop on website. It really depends on what your business needs are. We're just going to use a nice simple example today. So we're going to change the call to action to call now. And you then need to click on the drop down tab here and simply scroll down until you have found your country's code for calls. So here is New Zealand right here, and we're going to change that to 021027747702, as that is the mobile number you can contact me on, and we're going to select save. Now, once that's been done, what we're going to do is just check to make sure that has appeared here, which is call cool now, and that has. We are then going to refresh it once. And once that has been done, we are going to do a quick check as the profile rather than the business page and just make sure that the new call to action button is showing up properly. And there it is. We can call the business now and there's the number as it comes up right there. Now, if you want to change that again, it's very simple. You just go back to interacting as your page and simply go back into the edit call now button. And we are going to select edit button and that is going to bring up all of the options again. Let's say this time around, you want someone to send you an email. You just need to enter in your email address into the box right here and select save. And then you will see that change from call now to send email. Give your page a quick refresh while you're in the business admin side rather than the profile side to save yourself time and going back and forth. And then you simply Go back to interacting as your personal Facebook profile rather than as your business page to check. And that will allow you to then have a look and see if the call to action button has been changed successfully. And as we can see here, it has. So that's it for today's tutorial, everybody. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like down below. Always helps me and the channel. And consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye for now.